What's up YouTube, we're back with another tutorial, this is part 2 of the Lightroom tutorial but now we're on Photoshop. We've already exported the picture to Photoshop as a smart object. It depends what you prefer but I prefer exporting it as a smart object, it's in Photoshop as a smart object. So from here, the first thing I do usually when I put a picture on Photoshop, I duplicate the image three times. And then I select the first one on top and then go to adjustment layer, curves, and then from curves, input, just put the input uh, around, uh, let's say, just select here, let's say 45, okay, or just drag this area, this dark area right here to 45, it depends, but you, I don't think you have to pass this line. We are we, the first thing we are doing here. We are doing the same thing we are doing in Lightroom is to adjust the mid tones. Here we are doing it correctly. How to adjust the mid tones correctly? So don't worry about how the picture looks now. Okay, from here select your curves and press Control and select your layer below curves and press E to match the layers with your curve. The match those two layers okay since those two layers are merged just come down here and select mask is this thing here mask and then this will appear here make sure that it's not selected here it's selected here on mask you can also see here it says it's written mask from your mask make sure it's selected here on your mask layer okay then you go to image apply image and just press ok make sure invert is unchecked and the blending is multiply layer merged channel rgb invert unchecked okay and mask unchecked just press ok you won't see what's happening here because now we just it's just the beginning of this tutorial and then come to your second duplicate of your image and then again select curves and then now we're doing the output select here and just bring it down to okay 205 yes just put it to 205 select your curves again and then pre hold control and then select your other layer below curves and then press e to merge those layers and then from here we do the same thing select mask and then go to image apply image and check invert this time okay as you can see now uh, your picture is perfectly balanced between the mid tone so the other thing we're gonna do is just add uh, more contrast uh, you, you don't have to select contrast here you, we're just gonna add more contrast using curves okay from using curves just select curves then you come here and you bring it around 30 30 30 30 31 and then you select here and drag it around 208 and then you come here to planning mode and then you select overlay or soft light let's select soft light and then you bring the opacity to around 20 uh, as you can see from the picture now you can tell that the quality it's more and the colors are popping more than it was before let me do this this is before and then this is after as you can see from the reds this is after also another way to make your picture a bit sharper this is how i adjust my sharpness and uh, as you can see this is our final product but let's add a bit of sharpness duplicate your background layer again and then just bring it on the top and then blend it uh, overlay and then go to filter others high pass and then yeah you have to adjust the radius here and just get something that you're comfortable with but I'll stick to 3.4 4.3 just press ok as you can see this is our final product the colors are popping yeah you have those rich reds rich green all the way here and the rich background actually this is the 
easiest way less advanced way to make your colors pop if you want to have good pictures i i recommend you to try this one it's just simple basic straight to the point okay from here to save your picture the more advanced way is to send to lightroom which you can come here file and then select save as i save it as a tiff since this is a beginner's video i'm just gonna focus on simplest basic ways to do it and just select jpeg and then rename your file to whatever you want uh, check here icc profile pro photo and select save and then you come here uh, don't select anything here just select none uh, okay this will default quality you go for uh, maximum it's gonna make a very large jpeg file which is gonna be difficult for you to upload it on instagram facebook twitter or whatever you want to put it so from here let's just decrease the quality as you can see preview and file size are only available for 8-bit pictures because uh, the picture comes from lightroom to photoshop so it's more than 8-bit i think it's 16-bit picture but yeah okay just decrease this i'll just put it on 8 and then from 8 and then format option please select baseline optimize don't select baseline standard it will look different from what you see now and what you are looking at when you're done editing so okay just press okay and then in seconds just gonna say boom it's done okay this is our final product final product as you can see uh, i think it looks the same don't know if my monitor showed me different colors but yeah it looks same it looks the same as what i see on photoshop so guys this is our final product thanks please subscribe leave a comments below leave your questions uh, ask any questions on lightroom or photoshop i'll do that for you thank you and i'll try to be faster but i'll also be slow because i'm trying to teach people lightroom and photoshop if I speak fast, you won't learn anything. You won't learn anything. Never mind. Uh, never mind my English. It's a South African language. I, I don't usually speak English, so it becomes difficult to do an English tutorial. But yeah, this is a South African accent English, not the one from Black Panther. But yeah, please subscribe to my channel, Danny Beats Film S A D for dog B for banana films for film sa for my country thank you